It's estimated that more than 200,000 children are treated in the ER for playground-related injuries. That's a lot. And now we're going to talk about a few surprising dangers out in the playground that you need to be aware of to keep your children safe. The first is, look at this picture. It's going viral with a warning that you should not let your kids on the playground with a hat that has drawstrings. Why? Well, this child was close to accidental strangulation. She was climbing on a net. Her hat got stuck. The cord wrapped around her neck for multiple seconds until finally, luckily, the string broke. She could have broken her neck. No kidding. Strangulated. I mean, this is, this is one that parents need to be aware of. And it's not just hats, right? It can be drawstrings on well, anything shirts, that has jackets, anything that can that has, catch that has dangling, dangling uh, strings on. I mean, you can get right. caught in the whatever they're playing on the jungle gym, a swing. Yeah, you need to think about snaps, Velcro buttons, things that aren't going to catch and hook and. And if your problems. kids are on the playground and they're wearing a helmet, which can save them from a head injury, you got to make sure those straps aren't loose. Sometimes you'll see the straps will be so loose that that can grab That's onto something as well. You know the other one we wanted to talk about that I don't think people give this one enough credence? And that is playground burns. And we're not talking about burns from just metal slides. There have been a couple of recent stories about young children suffering burns from the rubber mats that are out on playgrounds and these plastic slides. About one third of playground burns occur in equipment made of either plastic or rubber or non-metal. Right, I have three little ones, so I'm still spending a lot of time on playgrounds these days, and you've got to feel the slide or the mat for more than a second. You know, moms tend to, we all kind of, Quickly, oh, you're not gonna oh get... no, it's not that hot, you can be, you'll be fine. You need to really hold your hand there for like five seconds and test different areas, because depending on where the sun's hitting, and it can even be just 75 degrees out, but that, the angle and the sun may just hit this one thing and really create a hot spot. The, a child yeah. suffered second degree burns on a 74 degree day. Because that sun, that radiant heat, apparently whatever that surface was. Just absorbed all that heat, the sun angle, yeah. like you said, Plus must have been just right. Second high. degree burn, by definition, blistering. Uh, number one, it's painful. And number two, you never know exactly how well that's going to heal, especially on the hand. And you mentioned something I think is so important. We've talked about this many times on, a sh on the show before about burns and the way your pain receptors act with something that is burning, it's so doggone slow. I mean, literally, it's like one, two, three, Ouch. ooh, it's hot. <laughs> and that's whether you're a two-year-old or a 20-year-old or a 50-year-old, that's just the reality of the way those nerves conduct that temperature. So, so be aware, and the other big thing is be aware if you have a, a playground in your backyard. Mm -hmm. Because the one thing we can do is we can make sure that our own playground equipment if we have something in our backyards, it is not made of the type of material that's gonna conduct this heat. So uh, these are things just to be aware of.